Welcome to another special edition of Studio 90 as we bring you continuing coverage of FIFA's inspection tour of the USA's bid to host the World Cup in 2018 or 2022. The inspection tour officially got underway yesterday with a press conference at the St. Regis Hotel in New York, hosted by U.S. Soccer President Sunil Gulati and the head of the FIFA delegation, Harold Maine Nichols. We are here in our eighth um, visit to different uh, countries and different um, bidding process, um, bidding uh, countries for these two next World Cup. We are here to get the, as much information as possible about what, what is each of these bidding process presenting to FIFA to, ha to run the World Cup in 2018 or 2022. And we will, during these uh, four days, to receive as much information as possible to put it in our report for the EXCO members that on December 2nd we'll take the decision to which countries will go the World Cup in 2018 and 2022. We are sure we will receive all the information we need and with that information we are also sure that we will present to the EXCO members a very objective report so they can have a strong basis on the decisions they will take. I really thank again uh, U.S. Soccer and the bid organization for all their help during the, the last days on organizing the visit, but also sending us all the information we require for, for the visit. It will be a pleasure to be here. It will be a pleasure to, to go to these five uh, venues. The first full day of the tour included a stop at Red Bull Arena, a possible team training site, as well as the new Meadowlands Stadium, which would be considered a venue to host the opening match or the final. The delegation then flew to Washington, D.C., where they met up with U.S. coach Bob Bradley, and we talked with the executive director of the USA Bid Committee, David Downs, about the first day's activities. Well, we've had a very long and exciting day, which isn't quite over yet, but uh, we began in New York City with some working sessions to present the bid. We then toured through the Jacob Javits Center, which is a proposed location for one of FIFA's events, such as a preliminary or final draw. Took a tour of Red Bull Arena, one of the finest soccer-specific stadiums in the country. Uh, then went over to New Meadowlands Stadium, the newest 80,000-seat stadium built in the United States. And then came down to the Washington, D.C. area, where we had a chance to stop by George Mason University and visit their college soccer complex, which is arguably one of the finest college soccer complexes in the United States, but also truly representative of a number of the Division I college soccer facilities that we're proposing as training sites for our bid. Well, we wrap up the evening uh, with a uh, lovely dinner hosted by uh, our friends from Washington, D.C., who will uh, have a number of local uh, dignitaries here and then tomorrow morning breakfast at the White House. It's so not uh, your ordinary itinerary, but uh, one that symbolizes just how much support we have for this bid. Well, we have a truly national bid that spans all four corners of the United States, uh, a total of 18 cities. Uh, unfortunately, on this bid uh, inspection trip, we're only able to visit five. But we think we're going to give FIFA a very representative flavor of what we have to offer nationally. Well, that's it for this special edition of Studio 90. Join us tomorrow as we look back on a very busy day for the inspection tour. It begins with a breakfast at the White House, then heads to Miami before finishing the evening in Dallas. For more information on the USA's bid to host the FIFA World Cup, log on to GoUSABid.com.